Hi there and welcome uh, to a video in which we are going to look at the definition of factors, how we find factors of a number, what a prime factor is, and finish by expressing numbers in terms of the product of their prime factors. That's quite a mouthful. And in fact, I'm making the assumption here that before you watch this video, you already know what a prime number is. And also you know a little bit about the basics of powers. If you don't, I've put a couple of links in the descriptions to this video below. You might want to pause this and have a look at those first and then come back to this one. Let's start, as I often do, with the definition then of a factor. So quite simply, the factors of a number are all the numbers that divide into it exactly. So let's have a look at an example. Let's say we are looking at the factors of the number 12. We are just going to use our knowledge of our times tables and figure out what numbers you can divide 12 by exactly. We start by saying, OK, you can divide 12 by 1. 12 divided by 1 goes exactly, and also 12 divided by 12 goes exactly. We also know that you can divide 12 by 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, in which case it must mean that 12 will also divide by 4. 12 will also divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, therefore 12 must also divide by 6. There are no other numbers that will divide into 12, so the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. You may notice that in most cases, and we'll have a look at a situation where it's a little bit different in a moment, in most cases factors are found in pairs. 1 times 12, 3 times 4, 2 times 6 all make up 12. So once you've found one, you can usually find the other. There is occasionally a situation where that doesn't happen. Let's have a look at the number 16 and find its factors. Well again, 16 divides by 1, 16 divides by 16. 16 also divides by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8, so 8 must be a factor. Now 16 divides by 4. Now 4 times 4 is 16, so we don't put the 4 twice, it stays on its own. Let's have a look at another number and find its factors, but I want to look at a new definition in this one. We're going to look at the number 30. Well, its factors, certainly we know 1 and 30. We also know that 30 can be divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, therefore 15 is a factor. 30 can be divided by 3, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. 30 can be divided by 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So 30 has quite a number of factors here. Now, if you look at these numbers, and this is where I mentioned at the very beginning it would be useful to have already looked at the video on prime numbers. If we look at the factors here, we can see that we have a number 2, which is a prime number. Number 3 is a prime number. And number 5 is a prime number. The others can all be divided by something else. So the ones that I've circled in red here are known as prime factors. They are prime numbers and they are also factors of the number that we started with. Now I want to have a look at something called the factor tree. And it's best done by looking at a very, very typical and also very common question that we see on the GCSE exam papers. And it will say something like, express the number 30 as a product of its prime factors. It's also known as prime factorization. So what are we talking about? Well, 
we start, as we did on previous pages, with the number 30. Now I'm going to start on this side of the page because I want to show you how this works. The first thing that we do is we look for a pair of factors. You recall I said that factors often come in pairs and if we look back at 30, I'm not going to use 1 and 30, it gets us nowhere. So I'm going to use this second pair here. 2 times 15 is 30. So 2 and 15 are two of its factors. They are a pair. Now the trick is to look at this pair and say, is either of those numbers a prime number? And the answer of course is yes. Number 2 is a prime number. Number 15 isn't. So the next step is to look at 15 and find a pair of factors for 15. So, if we look at 15, a pair of factors are 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Now we have some new numbers to look at and we ask ourselves, is that a prime number? Yes it is. Is this one a prime number? Yes it is. Once we have a prime number at the bottom of every stem, we finish. And the way we finish this off to say express it as a product of its prime factors, we simply write 2 times 3 times 5. Because 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 30. So by multiplying or finding the product of the prime factors, we end up back at 30. Now the reason I've split this page in half is because I want to show you that it doesn't actually matter which pair of factors you look at. Let's go back to 30. This time I'm going to use 3 and 10, a different pair of factors. So there we go, 3 and 10. Look at the numbers. Is either of those a prime number? Yes it is. The number 3 is prime but 10 isn't. So we need to find a pair of factors of 10 and of course the pair that we have is 2 and 5. These are prime numbers and if you look across the board, although they're in a different order, they are exactly the same numbers. So if I put them in order, I end up with exactly the same answer. So at whatever stage you are in, looking for factors of 30 or looking for factors of the next number, pick any pair that you can think of and you will get to the right answer. I'm just going to take this one more step. Now, when we come to the answer to this particular question, I am going to use one of the rules of powers. Therefore, powers is another topic that might well be worth you having a look at alongside this one. So, I'm going to have a look at the number 45 and as with the previous number, we are going to express it as a product of its prime factors. So I'm going to find a pair of factors. And the one that comes to mind is 9 and 5. 9 times 5, 45. Are either of those numbers a prime number? Yes, they are. Number 5 is, but number 9 isn't. 9 has a pair of factors. 3 and 3. 3 times 3. Now you remember right at the beginning I said when we are listing factors we don't put the 3 twice but in a tree we need to finish things off so we do have 3 times 3 there and of course 3 is a prime factor, a prime number. Therefore to write it out what we have is 3 times 3 times 5. That's correct. That is expressing it as a product of its prime numbers. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. But in this case, because there are two 3s, we go a step further. 3 times 3 can be written as 3 squared times 5. Therefore, the complete answer is 3 squared times 5. Here's a final example and in fact you might want to pause the video at this point and have a go yourself. 
it's 420 so I'm going to pick a pair of factors and I will go for maybe the more obvious one which is 42 times 10 42 times 10 420 are either of these numbers prime and in this case they're not I therefore have to continue on both sides of the tree now 10 I know is 2 times 5 and 42 well 42 is 6 times 7 you can see how useful it is to know your times tables here are any of these prime yes 5 is a prime number 2 is a prime number and 7 is a prime number but 6 isn't therefore 6 I have to go again 6 is 3 times 2 and this time 3 and 2 are both prime numbers so what do I have I have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 I also spot that I have a pair of 2's here so again 2 times 2 is 2 squared so the full answer is 2 squared times 3 times 5 times 7. I hope that was useful. As I mentioned right at the beginning, there are links to a couple of other videos that link to this one in the description here. And I've also put a link to another of my videos on the side here. Please do subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the notifications button as well, you'll get to see any new videos that I produce. Thank you.